Hi guys, it's James here. I'm gonna play some uh, Far Cry 4. Uh, yeah, it's been out a little while, but I picked it up the other day. Just go a normal uh, offline show. So yeah, it's a game. I played Far Cry 3 when that came out a couple of years ago. And uh, I've seen some people play this. It looks pretty decent, so I thought I'd give it a go myself. Fortresses are heavily guarded, elite outposts. So yeah, I've heard this is a massive game. <laughs> so I have to see how far we can get into it. I've got me drink, got me Lucas Aid for this session. Ooh. Got some Jaffa cakes for me breakfast. <laughs> RJ, my son. I have but one last wish. Take me back to Lakshmana. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chad Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you'll need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. Passport. Cheeky monkey. What's happening? Why couldn't he be quicker? Oh, he's 
shouldn't have been stabbing him so viciously. At least there's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. But I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> uh, no. Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to... What is it? Get a little... Sure, right into the camera. There we are. <laughs> awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. And we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Woo! Should I stay or should I go? Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more, you know, chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplour. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. <laughs> Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Pagan Men. Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Hmm. All right. But this with a smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother. Your mother, on the hey. other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. What are you doing? That is grim. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. Then I realized, it's not me, no. It was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? We'll see here. <laughs> really, guys, we're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it uh, right. Here we go. Uh, go on. Cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! help! From your diaphragm! Help! help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! 
out. Find out what he knows. Okay. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Rabrangu. The Pleur's compound. Okay, I hope that goes up. Nope, that's good enough to be changed. That's the lowest sensitivity I've ever felt. Right. Uh, that's a bit better. No, it's not. <laughs> I changed my mind again. Yeah, that's better. A little bit of screen tearing, but nothing too savage. Self help book. A memo. Increased Golden Path activity. There has been a recent rise in Golden Path activities in the area surrounding Banapar. We have increased our presence in our southern border stations in response to the intercepted shipments of weapons and supplies, presumably destined for the Golden Path. All convoys and patrols should be on high alert for terrorist movements. Sergeant Mizra. Where am I going? What the fuck? Oh, he doesn't sound happy. Also, before I forget. Um, there we go. Subtitles. I um, guess we have to go down here. It's a very nice house. Oh, what are these? We'll go down there in a minute. Let's search a bit more first. Ah, see, another chest. Child's drawing. Why has he got a child's drawing? Bell Tower Broadcast. It has been brought to, the atten to our attention that there was a s recent attempt to sabotage the broadcast from Bell Tower out outside Banapur. We will be posting guards at all Bell Towers until further notice. It is imperative that the message of our great leader is shared with all of Karat. Or Kairat, I'm not too sure. May Pagan's light shine upon you all, the Ministry of Public Affairs and Social Harmony. <laughs> yeah, mate. Doesn't sound like a dictator at all. Oh, another chest. So, another self-help book. Oh, I will be helping myself all day, thanks to these books. Okay, let's actually go downstairs and see if we can help this guy. I don't think we'll be able to because we don't have a weapon. <laughs> Get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Darpan would understand. Now stay close. No, oh, Darpan. Oh, man. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Quickly, the door. Andre, when these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? 
Yeah, yeah, I got it. Could just One, give me a gun. Two. Pretty good. Three. Probably all right with a gun. Okay. Here we go. 